What's up guys, back with another quick voiceover. Uh, here we have a rust colored Rodeo King uh, and I've actually already started this crown. Uh, all I did was I took that block that you see in the left lower hand corner uh, and just pushed the top of the crown in to start what we like to call a telescope crown. Um, here you see all I'm doing is I'm going through and I'm just tightening up that crease that we have around there. Um, I've already looked at it, it looks pretty even, so now we're just gonna go through uh, and tighten it up. And all I'm doing is I'm just pinching it between my thumbs um, and my uh, index finger. Uh, gonna give it a measure. My OCD self always seems to do that. Um, not necessarily technically, but uh, you know, when you're doing with a round shaped crown like this, it can be a, a little tough on the eyes to see the imperfections, but um, I'd actually let that hat set for about 15 minutes just to harden back up. I'd put a lot of heat on it, so I wanted it to kind of get some of that rigidness back to it from when I go to punch the center of this back out going towards the top of the hat. Um, so we're just gonna put a little more heat on it here. Uh, and I actually tried to use the same block that I used to uh, push the top of the crown in. It was a little too small. Uh, as you see here as I get it stuck, but uh, just it got me started. So um, I used to do this by hand and I would just push it up like I'm doing here. Um, and then that's all I would do. There's your telescope. Um, I've gone to a different approach where I use a, a little tool. Uh, and by tool, I mean my hat tip jar. Um, but you'll see me here in a second. I'll show you uh, just by doing it by hand like this. Uh, that center of that is domed. As you can see there, as I'm showing y'all, it's domed, right? Uh, and it looks okay, and I could get it pretty square, but what I actually like to do is I'll set this crown on the hat bar, uh, and what I'll do is I'll push the center of that hat to where it is level with the crease that I have around it, and it just gives it a really cool, clean look. And all I'm doing with that jar is, uh, first off, I'm using it to flatten that crown out because that crown does not want to be flat right there. It started domed, it wants to end domed. So we're just gonna try to manipulate it with a flat surface that I have on the bottom of the jar. Uh, as I put that down towards the center, what I'll actually do is I'll push it going towards the outside of the crown. And what that does is it shoots that wrinkle into that crease uh, and it gives it a tight crease as you can see there. Uh, and even after I use the jar, I tend to uh, take uh, a little more detailed work with my fingers. Uh, in certain areas where the crease is a little deeper, I'll try to shape it up, or if it's a little shallower, we'll try to push uh, the wrinkles of that hat over towards the side that's maybe a little shallower, just to give it a little more uniform look. Um, some people might not notice, but I just like to try to be exact when I'm doing something like this. Uh, especially something, uh, any kind of symmetrical shape like this being completely round. Um, it's easy to see it to the trained eye, um, but it's just a little a little bit of, of what I like to do with all my hats. I'll actually, even after doing this, uh, I'll come back after the video and mess with it. But uh, once we get done here, I'll show you all a little finished look. We actually cut this brim down and I plated it to get it flat. Um, and there's your 7X rust color Rodeo King uh, along with your Drake Jones hat shaping stamp in the back.